everyone, uh, my name is Russell Wilson and I'm a registered science technician with the Science Council. I work at Edinburgh Napier University as a laboratory technician within the Sport, Exercise and Health Sciences subject group. My role involves supporting the teaching and research activities within the group by providing technical support to undergraduates and postgraduate students as well as academic members of staff. I work as part of a team of three technicians that support four different laboratories which include biomechanics, uh, sports injuries, uh, exercise physiology and a research lab. My main duties include the maintenance, the calibration and preparation of laboratory equipment whilst also demonstrating its use to both students and staff. Throughout the lockdown period I managed to grow my network of technicians from across the UK. It was one of these new contacts that suggested I should go for the CPD awards and if I'm honest I, I thought that applying would be a useful experience to go through. It would help focus my attention on my CPD and perhaps highlight areas in which I could do with, with growing or maybe areas that were lacking. Um, I was also previously aware of the CPD awards um, because a colleague of mine at Edinburgh Napier University, Dr Janice McCallum, she won the Chartered Scientist Teach Award last year. To find out that I actually won my category came as a great surprise. After submitting the application, um, I didn't think much more about it because uh, both myself and my technical colleagues had returned to working on campus and we were busy prepping for, for the next semester. Um, I'm, I'm really grateful to receive this award as any form of recognition for your work is, is always nice to hear. Um, but I must say that if it wasn't for the help and support of my colleagues at Edinburgh Napier University, at the IST and the Science Council, then, then I wouldn't have been able to, to win this award. So I'd like to take this opportunity to say thank you to, to all of them. My favourite CPD activity would have to be when I presented at the Heated Scottish Regional Network meeting that was hosted by my institution. Um, I presented on my previous experience of applying for and gaining Erasmus funding to travel to the German Sports University in Cologne, which was for a, a work shadowing and networking week. Uh, this was my favourite CPD activity as presenting is something that doesn't come natural to me and I find that um, is something that I tend to avoid if at all possible. Therefore this presented a personal challenge to me and allowed me to, to grow and develop in both my, my confidence and my presenting skills. It also allowed me to share a possible funding opportunity that most of my technical colleagues weren't aware of and um, weren't aware as well that they were eligible for. My CPD plan for next year includes um, applying and hopefully gaining registered scientist status um, but I also wish to become a registrant champion for the IST and the Science Council. Um, I only relatively recently um, joined the IST and sought professional registration and I found it to be of great use in helping me develop my career um, and it's opened up opportunities that I, I wouldn't have known were, were out there if it wasn't for me joining. Um, for this reason, I'd like to encourage others to seek professional registration uh, and help provide support to those who are going through this process. I received um, a lot of help and guidance and support from current members of the IST, so um, I'd like to offer others that same level of support. From a more practical day-to-day -day standpoint, um, I've found that due to COVID, um, both myself and the rest of the technical team are having to develop a lot of instructional and demonstration videos. Um, I'm quickly becoming more familiar with the different video editing software packages that are out there. However, I aim to continue my development and, and grow my knowledge of these different packages. Um, this is something that undoubtedly will be essential in the coming months ahead. So before submitting my own application for the CPD awards, I must admit I looked back at the 2019 winners' um, top tips and advice and the one thing that seemed to, to shine through from everyone 
was that you need to keep a better log of your CPD throughout the year. Now I, I felt guilty of this and should follow that advice a bit more often um, because trying to compile your CPD at one, one time point can be a massive task. Um, I think more importantly you also lose the opportunity to, to reflect upon the experience. Um, so therefore I would, I would advise that you keep a diary with some brief notes taken from, from that time, so right at the time of the CPD. Um, then maybe once a month or so you can log all of these and maybe expand upon your notes in terms of what worked, what didn't, what you'd like to, to do moving forward. So for my second top tip, um, and I maybe touched upon this earlier on, however I can't overemphasise the importance of becoming professionally registered with an external organisation um, and the, the positive effect that can have on your, your CPD. Um, becoming involved with external organisations helps you with networking, helps you with professional development and can help you with further opportunities moving forward. Um, organisations such as the IST and the Science Council um, from a technician standpoint, um, Heated or the National Technicians Development Centre um, even institutions such as the Advanced Higher Education, they, they can all be massively important and, and just give you more opportunity. So, in whichever area you are a part of, I would recommend that you get involved with your professional and governing bodies. So for my third top tip, um, that would be to challenge yourself. CPD can quickly turn into doing the same things but in a slightly different way. Uh, and it's, it's human nature to continue by doing what's comfortable. However, if you don't stretch yourself, you're actually holding yourself back. Um, and anything worthwhile is often time consuming and, and hard work, but continuously striving to push yourself um, out with your comfort zone can lead to the most rewarding of outcomes.